again folks, Mark Johnson, Tech Snobs. Today we're going to go over and show you exactly how to check the battery health on your iPhone 6 or above um, device. And, and the whole purpose of this video is after all the Apple controversy about slowing down iPhones, they came clean earlier this year and said, look, we do do that depending on the health of your battery. Before there wasn't a way to really know if your, your iPhone was throttled without using some kind of like Geekbench or some other kind of software that checks the benchmarks of your iPhone. In a nutshell, all that means is iOS 11.3 came out last week. Now you can go into your iPhone settings and check that out. So right now we're going to go in here and do that and I'm going to show you exactly where you go. Uh, first thing you want to do when you go to your iPhone, you want to click on settings. And then after you click on settings, you want to scroll down and go to battery. And then once you're under the battery section, you're going to see something there that says battery health beta. Um, and in the beta section here, you know, it's still beta. You click on that and it's going to tell you the maximum capacity of your battery and it's going to tell you your peak performance capability. Now, I've looked at, I have an iPhone 6S and I have an SC laying around. On those devices, they're all still showing a maximum capacity of 100%, which is good. Um, I've heard those who have less than 100% have had their phones basically, you know, um, you know, throttled and the, and the peak performance would be down, but I don't know what that exactly looks like. But I can say this is that you can override whatever Apple does with this new setting in here. So it's really cool. Um, it's definitely helpful for those, especially I've heard folks tell me that their phones don't hold a lot, a lot of charge or they shut down or the battery dies quickly. So you can still get a new battery from Apple as well. Um, I do believe it's still $29, so definitely check that out. And also you can click learn more on this page and it will take you to the whole technical explanation of why they're slowing down your iPhone. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the site techsnobs.com for more coverage. Take care.